So Sean, I heard parents, coaches, um, talk about the word concentration. And they really throw that word, you need to really concentrate when you're out there, or concentrate more. Um, with your experience, what is con having more concentration or needing to concentrate more, what is that to you? Well, I, I think obviously if I could have a proficient way to teach people to concentrate, I would have a lot more money than I do. Um, I think concentration is the correlation of something else. So it's, it ends up being the, it's the effect of something that's causing it. So for me, I don't have a hard time concentrating when I'm listening to hip hop music because it's like the soundtrack of my soul. So I don't have a hard time concentrating that. I don't have a hard time concentrating when I'm with my children. And I don't have a hard time concentrating when I'm working on a driving range all day. So to me, I don't have a hard co time concentrating at things that I enjoy right. I would all, and love. But I would also say that if you have a lot of clutter on your mind, if you're thinking of, if you're thinking of the future a lot, or you're thinking of the past a lot, and you're kind of never really present, you're always thinking of what happened or what may happen, it is gonna be difficult to concentrate in the moment. So I would say if you're actually in the moment, then you are concentrating, right? Right? right. So I would say that we're probably typically always concentrating, we just take ourselves out of it. So yeah, it's easy enough to say you need to concentrate more, but like when you're on the course, what are you battling with internally that won't allow you to be where you're at? Mm. So a lot of this stuff, guys, that I'm gonna talk about on these videos, it takes introspection. So introspection is taking a look within yourself at kind of what you're doing or what you wanna do, taking a deeper look at yourself. And unfortunately in today's society with all the technology and all these things that take our attention away from ourselves, you know, introspection is like a thing of the past. So, you know, you, you watch, you watch players on tour where they used to come in and sit down and have to think about their round. Now they just come in and they basically just hide from learning anything about themselves by going automatically on their phone and, and, and checking Instagram or whatever it is they're doing. Right. So introspection is key. Um, and then I would also double that with the fact that if someone was really proficient at working on their breathing, then they'd be in that state as well. So concentration comes from at a respiratory level and then at a nervous system level, um, the ability to do that as well. Yeah. So if you get too rattled, it's gonna be really hard to concentrate, right? Right. Because all your brain, if you're rattled, your brain thinks there's a threat and it's trying to figure out what the threat is. And so the difficulty is that if you feel like you're in an environment that's threatened, and I know you're just hitting a seven iron over the water, but if your identity is connected to your score, which is connected to getting a scholarship, which is connected to making the PGA Tour, and you're thinking about all of that behind the curtain over a seven iron, um, you know, you probably need to take a little bit more of a look in the mirror and kind of reassess why you play the game.